Welcome to Diabetes Daily Digest. My name is Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're not subscribed to the channel or you're interested in diabetes related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new content all the time. So I finally got my hands on the Freestyle Libre 3. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. I wanted to do a video going through all the things I loved about the CGM and a couple of things that still need a little bit of work. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the packaging. You can see that the box for this thing is way smaller compared to its predecessor. So definitely some bonus points for making this thing a little bit more environmental friendly using a little less packaging. So how is it that they can make the packaging so much smaller compared to the previous model? Well, first you no longer have two separate parts for the sensor. It's all built into this one little convenient part, which is really nice. So you're eliminating a step in the process of putting it together. But there's a little bit of a sacrifice too when you come to the smaller packaging and how we get to that point. What's no longer included in the box, which was a little bit of a bummer for me, was the alcohol swabs that are included in the Libre 2. So this opens up a little bit more room in the packaging, not having to include the alcohol. I guess it's kind of like how Apple no longer included the charging bricks, assuming everybody has a charging brick by now. Maybe Abbott assumes you're diabetic and every diabetic should have alcohol swabs at home, so they no longer felt the need to put it in the box. So not a huge deal, but just a little bit of a disappointment to no longer have that included for the sake of convenience. Now let's talk about the application process. So I've used the Freestyle Libre 2, I've used the Freestyle Libre 14 day, I've used the Dexcom, and not that any of those are hard to put on, but this was by far the easiest CGM that I've ever put on compared to all of the other models that I've used before. You literally pull out one part, you unscrew it, clean your arm, push it on, and you're done. Once it's on your arm, the only thing that you have to do to link it to the app is just to scan it once. No need to put codes in or anything like that. It's literally just touching it to the sensor, and you're done and it's linked to the app. And by the way, this is the first and the only time you'll have to scan any sensor when you have a Freestyle Libre 3. It's just the first time just to start up the process and then that's it, you never have to scan it again, which leads me to the next great part about the CGM. And that's no more scanning. I never thought scanning my Libre 2 was a big deal until I didn't have to anymore with the Freestyle Libre 3. So with the Freestyle Libre 3, this is a full-fledged, completely wireless CGM, no more scanning. It sends a blood sugar reading to your phone every 60 seconds. And this is actually the only CGM that sends a blood sugar reading that often. Whereas the Dexcom will send a blood sugar reading every five minutes, the Libre sending it every 60 seconds, which is really nice, especially if you're starting to crash, you know, your blood sugar is going down really fast or your blood sugar is spiking up really high. It's nice to have an up to the minute blood sugar every 60 seconds to see where you're trending. Now in regards to the wireless functionality, the actual Bluetooth sensor in the Libre 3, the claim is that the Libre 3 has the strongest Bluetooth signal with a range up to 33 feet. It's supposed to be, or at least they claim, 50% uh, further range than all other CGMs. Unfortunately, I didn't really find that to be the case. It works pretty well, but I found I had to be fairly close to my phone to actually have the readings. So as long as you're in the same room as your phone, you're good to go, you won't have any issues. But if you go a little bit further, you'll probably drop signal and have to come back to actually be able to retrieve your blood sugars again. Now, if you were to lose signal, let's say for an hour or two, maybe you went outside, are you actually gonna lose all of those blood sugar readings for that hour or two that you are away from your phone? So the answer is no. That's another really nice feature. So surprisingly, it actually stores a backlog of all of your blood sugars for a number of hours. And I actually tested this out one night to see, I had my phone in a separate room because I wanted to see how many hours does it actually store. So one night I went to sleep, I put my phone in a separate room, and in the morning I reconnected the sensor with the Bluetooth and I wanted to see how many hours of backlog blood sugars could I actually see. And I was surprised that it filled in the entire night, as you can see here. All of my blood sugars were repopulated once I got in range of my phone once again. And all of those hours I didn't actually lose, I could actually see what my blood sugar was. So it's definitely another nice feature to have. All right, so let's talk about the size of this thing because that's actually one of the biggest improvements. It's one of the smallest, if not the smallest CGM that's out on the market. So I wanted to compare it to a number of things. You can actually get the scale of this thing and how small it actually is. So a number of things I put next to it so you can get an idea. First, I obviously started with the Penny because Freestyle Libre, when they did all of their advertising for the Libre 3, compared it to the size of a penny. They said it was like two pennies stacked on top of each other, which I found to be pretty accurate that it is around the size of an actual penny. So definitely very small. I also compared it to the previous model you can see how much smaller it is here and really how much thinner too and then i also compared it to a dexcom g6 just to get an idea of other cgms and the difference in the size so pretty much it was smaller than everything that i compared the libre 2 the dexcom and about the same size as two pennies stacked on top of each other now one of my concerns was because of how small it is how little adhesive there is around it is this thing actually gonna stay on my arm for the full 14 days? That was one of my biggest concerns because I felt like it's really small. It doesn't have a lot of adhesive. The Dexcom definitely has this nice stretch around it of all this adhesive. I never had any problems with the Dexcom falling off. 
So I was wondering and I was kind of hoping that this thing was going to stay on for the full 14 days. Well, I'm glad to report that despite catching this thing on a doorknob, pulling it with my shirt, bumping into a wall, it actually stood the test of time. It stayed on for the full 14 days. You can see here at the end, it started to pull up a little bit around the edges, but luckily it still hung in there and I didn't have any issues with it falling off prematurely. Now let's talk about the most important thing of all because nothing else matters if this thing isn't accurate. Well, the Freestyle Libre 3 actually came out with a study not too long ago um, talking about the accuracy of the Libre 3 and basically stating that it's the most accurate CGM out to date. So that's a pretty bold statement. Did this statement actually hold up in a real life test? So the answer is yeah, and I was actually pretty impressed with how accurate the Libre 3 was. So I tried many times to see if I can find a weak spot in the CGM. Now with the Libre 2, I had a lot of issues with compression low. So when I was sleeping, a lot of times I would have these low blood sugars overnight when I was putting pressure on the side of the Libre, and I would wake up with these low blood sugars that weren't actually indeed true. So I was hoping the Libre 3 didn't have the same issues. So I definitely did some blood sugar tests in the morning and overnight as well to see if there was any issues with the accuracy when I was sleeping or waking up in the morning. And it didn't seem to be the case. I didn't really have any of these compression lows or any issues with the Freestyle Libre 3 having any of these false episodes of hypoglycemia overnight. I also tried testing when my blood sugar was running a little bit lower, still pretty accurate. I tried testing when I was running a little bit higher, still seemed to be accurate. Honestly, in the multiple times I tested it out over the two weeks comparing it to a finger stick, the most it was off was around 15 to 20 points, which for a CGM is actually really, really accurate. So that was the most I saw. A lot of times it was within just a few points of the blood sugar reading, which is very, very accurate. All right, so what about the app? Is there anything different with the Freestyle Libre 3 app compared to the Freestyle Libre 2 app? So you have to download a new app for this sensor, and I was hoping maybe there would be some changes. And what I found was, not really, it was pretty much unchanged compared to the Freestyle Libre 2 app. The one difference I did notice is that there's a GMI um, button on the actual app now, and that gives you a calculation of what your estimated A1C would be. So that's a nice feature, but outside of that, the app is pretty much unchanged from the Freestyle Libre 2. Now that's good and bad. Good because the Freestyle Libre 2 was definitely a solid app. It had a lot of data on there. You could see all your blood sugar trends, your graphs, a bunch of different information. But the problem was there's some things that needed to be updated that still weren't changed with the Freestyle Libre 3. The biggest thing to me was the Freestyle Libre um, in the app doesn't have any flexibility with your alarms. You can't set different alarms depending on the time of day. You can't set different ringtones um, and you can't ask the alarms to repeat. So with the Dexcom, for instance, I like to have a two or three hour warning for a high blood sugar. Say if I corrected before bed, in two to three hours, if my blood sugar is still running high, I'd, I'd like to know again, um, but the Freestyle Libre 3 doesn't have that option. So there's it's very limited as far as what you can do with the alarm. So I'm hoping somebody from Abbott is listening and uh, hopefully we'll make some adjustments on the app because that's probably one of the biggest negatives about the Freestyle Libre 3. Overall, it's a great CGM, but I just feel like they definitely need some updates on the app to make this really a solid overall um, CGM experience. So overall, that is my experience with the Freestyle Libre 3. If there's anybody out there who's tried it, I'd love to hear your experience. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And thank you as always for watching the video.